Hi, Darren here. Thought I'd take the chance right now to show you another example of the 55 degree frog on the Lee Nielsen and why I originally bought it. What I have here is a molding plane blank. It's like a number six or so, so it's maybe oh, five eighths wide. Uh, one of the problems you'll see here is it rocks back and forth because of the grip cut out. Uh, so in order to get around that, we'll put a couple little shims on either side that match up to hold it in place. And get it locked in place. We're going to go with a 3 8 chamfer on this guy. So let's put a marking line all the way down the top where it's going to go. Finish that side of it. And it's going to be about an eighth inch deep on this side. That line is already there. And actually, in this case, it's like a sixteenth. It's pretty thin. And 3 8 down here. So I started uh, making these using this jack plane. It's a 15 inch walnut that I made. And we'll try that first. And it is immediately tearing out. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's really rough. It's noticeable. It is set a bit thick right now, but even if I set it down thinner, it just tears out completely. So what I did was I went and I tested on a 10 degree back bevel on a standard iron to start with to see if the concept of a higher angle would work. So in this case, it's a 45, let's say it's a 45 degree bed. If you had a 10 degree back bevel on the iron, you achieve a 55 degree angle of attack, which simulates having a 55 degree bed. In this case, I went for the 55 bed and it's on here. The iron is set up for um, pretty thin shavings, <coughs> excuse me, not quite as much as you would a smoother, but pretty close. And the mouth is set up about the same. Uh, we'll clean it out. We're going to take that same one straight to it. And we'll keep going down until we hit our lines. Remember, mark the line, claim the line, we don't have a problem. side. And I think we got it right there. 